we now have <coughs> our road and we have two houses each one with the front of the house and the roof so the other houses will be done the same way and I'll show you how how it works again so I'm going to start from here and draw to here and I've got a little extra line in there. I'm going to get rid of that. Take it out. Okay, then from here over to this corner erase the extra lines Then I'm going to do it two more times because I've got two more right here. Go from the corner to the top and from the top to the next corner. You can see how the roof of the house gets smaller and smaller as well as the houses getting smaller and smaller going back in space. Okay, this next one is really tiny. I'm going to hand draw it instead of using my ruler. Boop. So I've got a little triangle and then erase that little extra part. Okay, so here it is. I've got my houses all in a row. And the next part is going to be to add uh, some trees on this side. So I'm going over here and trees get smaller and smaller as they go back in space as well. So I need a line that shows where the top part of the trees is going to be. Uh, you could have short bushes and they would be lower or you could have tall trees that would be taller than the houses. I'm going to make my trees taller than the houses which means that uh, when I'm going to my vanishing point and I'm going away from my vanishing point, I'm going to make it go higher than the line I made on the right side. I take my ruler, match it up with my vanishing point, and make that angle go way up, all the way up to the top corner. That's so you can see there, I've got it matched up with my top corner and my vanishing point. And draw the line down to the vanishing point. Okay, next I'm going to add the trunks of the trees. And the tree trunks, I'll make a few tree trunks going farther and farther back in space. Remember that as it's going farther back, the tree trunks can get skinnier. So I'll start on the left side and make the biggest one. Notice I have to leave some space for the leaves on the top, so I'm not going to make my tree trunk go all the way up here. I'm going to start kind of in the middle somewhere. Make my tree trunk come down close to where the street is. Okay, then I go to the next one. It's going to have to be a little shorter so that I leave some room for the leaves. Then the next one. And I'm going to try to make it a little skinnier. and a few more as I'm going back in space. The trunks have to get shorter and shorter. Okay, now you'll notice that the horizon line is going across all of these tree trunks, but the tree trunks are covering 
part of the horizon line so I'm going to erase just the part of the horizon line that's being covered up by the tree trunk so right inside of each tree trunk I erase the horizontal line so that it looks like it goes behind it Okay, next I'm going to make the leaves of the trees, the tree foliage, and that's going to touch the line that I've got drawn here at the top. That's the tallest part of my leaves, and then my leaves can come down around the trunk. So I decide how it looks. Maybe there's a lot of curved lines, maybe pointy lines. Depends on what kind of leaf shapes that you would like it to be. And if you want it to look more like a real tree, you don't just make bubbles that go really, really smooth and even. Instead, you make it kind of a little bit more here and a little less there and kind of make it wiggly and wavy. That looks more like how real trees are. I'm not making it exactly one way or another. I'm just adding some different bumps in different places. <clears throat> okay, so when I've got one tree, then I move on to the, my next one. And it's behind this one, so part of the leaves are being covered up and part will be showing but I want to start by making sure that I touch this line at the top. Okay, I've got two trees. Now for the next one. Touch the top with my leaves. See how it's getting smaller and smaller as we're going back? Now I will keep going until I've reached this one here. Alright, now I've got my trees going farther and farther back in space, and here's my vanishing point. I've got my road going farther and farther back in space, and I've got my houses going farther and farther back in space. I've got this extra line here. This was to guide us to figure out where the top of the trees would be, but we don't really have a line right here that's in the air. So, I'm going to get rid of that line now. Okay, here's the part where you might want to add some marker to make your lines really stand out. You can take your marker and find the lines that you want to keep. So for example, if you have a line that's erased, don't trace it with your black marker. Just trace the lines that you want to keep. I'm going to start with the road. 
If you feel like your hand gets a little shaky and it's hard to draw it, you can always put your ruler back down and draw with your ruler. That keeps the line nice and straight. If you want to just look at your lines and then trace over them, you can do that too. Okay, you can see the difference in mine where here I didn't use the ruler and it's a little bit more wavy and here I did use the ruler and it's very nice and straight.